Hi, it's Anna and this is Atlas 101. In this lesson, we are going to look into ways how to access data right on the Atlas interface. In the last lesson, we looked into ways how to bring external data into Atlas. But all right, let's get started by going into the Add Data button and clicking it. And yes, while we looked into this last time, now we will focus on importing data from Atlas Data Hub. And what is Atlas Data Hub? Well, this is our collection that we are updating. Um, but here we have right now uh, some gathered data from external servers that we see that might be useful for many types of users. So here you can either try to search for a certain type of data, especially if you know that there is something, then you can just search for it or you can just try your luck. Uh, but then you can also filter, so you can look into format. For example, like we discussed in the last lesson, there are two different types of geodata. There's vector data and raster data. So you can, for example, um, filter based on that. So this is how they look. Then you have different capabilities, collections, countries, categories, and data source. We can also filter it based on several attributes. So we can take, for example, format, uh, raster data and country Brazil. And then we get uh, raster data from Brazil. Let's take one and bring this data set into Atlas. It might take a while, uh, depending a bit of how big the data set is, but there it is uploading all the time right now. So soon we're going to see it. Another way um, to access uh, data straight on Atlas platform is here on the right side panel. These are our integrations. So we can open here, for example, see all, and you can see several types of integrations. Right now, uh, our data is pretty much uploaded, I would say, and this is how it looks like. This is raster data. Right now we can hide that from here and we can look a bit more into the open street map on the right side panel. So here you have some basic queries uh, to help you to get started. Uh, if you want some simple things like buildings or roads, for example, you can also search for uh, some more specific things here or even write your own uh, query. But the important thing is to zoom in to wherever you want the data from. If you have too large of an area, it probably cannot upload because there would be just simply too much data. Right now, I zoomed into Paris, for example, and we can try to take buildings and query that. And here we have, if you zoom out, you see that uh, it is really the map extent where inside that you get what you have asked for. Right now we have these buildings here. You can search for many type of things. Uh, go have a look on OpenStreetMap and Atlas Data Hub and see you in the next lesson.